Fun fact, when I was a kid, couldn't pronounce my ends, so instead of saying bananas, I said bananas. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sorry. I just nailed my bars on the freaking door. Yo, look at this. Rally has these monster cans. That's actually the tour water. Only gives it to athletes, so Rally is officially a monster Special athlete. athlete. Pro athlete. So we have the rest of the scoot that obviously you guys might have seen in the last video, which if you didn't see the last video, click that card right up on one of these sides. I always forget, but we gotta finish up the build. I have the black vital grips right here. I have this is the blue sparkle vital grip tape, which will actually match the deck wherever it is. Oh, Rally's picked it up. Which is right there, so it'll actually match that blue really well but everything else is black black bars black clamp black everything else he's my official scooter mechanic being a good boy wow a little bottom piece you were wrong <laughs> jesus good boy Okay, bars are cut, grips are on, and bar ends are officially installed. Got the black vital grips on here, as I told you guys earlier. Now we gotta take the older grip tape off, and we're putting the blue vital grip tape on. So this is gonna be fun. New scoot is officially built up, ready to ride. Quick little check for you guys. We have the AOSG4 original deck and burnt pipe on my signature. We have the vital grip tape, obviously just the normal brake. We have a black NV double clamp right here. Also got the full SNED sticker on the black Union bars by NV Scooters. We have another um, RW balloon sticker right here. Black vital grips, metal bar ends. We've got an NV sealed headset hiding up in there. SOBV3 fork in black. Black on black Lambo wheels and NV the ABAC 9 bearing. So this scoot is all blacked out with the exception of the burnt pipe deck. And honestly, everybody's loving it so far because there's only a little bit of color which is down there on the deck and of course on the grip tape, but I'm loving this thing right now. It rides really, really well. Of course, we've got to get some clips on this thing. All right, you guys, so we are out here at Cal Oaks Skate Park. We got Steve-O with us, and Steve-O and I are gonna get a quick front and behind back-to-back -back train thing. On the eight. From the five. From the five. <laughs> I was kind of close to you, sorry. First one over the box, and a 360 downside whip out of the bank. One thing I want to do right now is I want to try to get double throw bar Manny, and then Manny down the bank to manual flare. So a big Manny line with a flare and two bars. Dropping in for the bank, this is the double bar. Oh, I missed the Manny. Whew. Let's try that again, shall we? My wheels are still making slight noises, but I need to tighten this back one up a little bit. They'll, they'll stop after a little while, I'm sure. Hopefully. All right, let's get a quick heel whip into the bank. Now get the double bar to Manny. Double bar to Manny. Gotta hold it. Let's see if we can get that flare. Don't go behind me, please. Whoo! Nice. <laughs> Just out of the back? Nice. <laughs> it's like the guy in, in cartoons is like, my leg! All right, Steve is gonna get a quick flare downhill on the five, and I'm gonna get his back with a flare bar. Dropping in right now. Flare downhill. Dang, I was actually prime. Well done, sir. Well done. All right, my turn. No footer. Snake. See if we can get this one first go. Should be able to. Almost lost my scoot though, I will say that. <laughs> Yo, Peep Steve-O's new bar app. He actually made this completely on his own with his own sticker machine. He's got the zone logo, he's got his Instagram on there. He's got the RDev logo because Steve-O rides for the one and only. <laughs> Steve is one of the RaymondWarner.com team riders and he's been killing it lately like in that flare double right there. That was actually nice. Okay. He's showing off now. Oh, the 50, the 270. Okay, let me see 50, 50, 50, 450 in. Oh no, brother. Round two. Full, that's good. Full sned. Full sned. Ah! Yes, mate. Give me a line on the hip and eight and hip. Hit me with it, big guy. I don't know what I'm doing yet. 
No, hit me. No, tell me a line. Like, give oh, me a line. Give you a line. All right. So. Everybody always screws that up. Everybody gets that confused all the time. You're gonna have to do a quad whip, flare, finger whip. Quad whip on the hip. One, two, three, four. Gotta get the flare on the eight, and then I'm gonna do heel thing. I like heel finger whips a little bit more than I like normal finger whips, which is weird. But normal finger whips feel way better when I hit them and actually start whipping. I'm gonna call a weird one for you. A weird one. <laughs> I want to see double whip to bar on the way there. Dude. Hand plant on the eight, and then back on the hip. Oh, dude, this clip actually might look freaking bananas. You want to do bar double whip instead? Yeah. That's fine. Fun fact: when I was a kid, couldn't pronounce my ends, so instead of saying bananas, I said balance. <laughs> God, you're gonna do it, do it back. Oh Dang it, I just ran straight into the freaking wall. Hopefully I wasn't too close. I feel like I was too close on the bar double, but we're gonna find out, but your butt almost hit me directly in the face. Watch how satisfying this is. It's into it. So far, Scoot is running awesome. I'm loving the entire scooter right now. I'm gonna do this thing that I do right over here. I've never seen anybody do it other than me, but I know Steve-O could do it, and it's just jump over the box. Like Dude, one side to the other. Pull Ned. Yeah. I, I think steve has got a first try. What do you guys think? Click that card. Let us know. Does steve have the jump over the box? First go. Here he goes. Dropping in. Turning around on the eight foot quarter pipe. Coming right back over on the hip ramp. Looking at it. Oh goodness. He's not going fast enough. You just chucked your scooter. Shall I go first? Shall I show? Halt! Okay. <laughs> Quick invert on the way there. What was the 180 bar? I did not do the bar. Sick. <laughs> oh. I didn't go fast enough, dude. I still made it, thank God. Yo, you see me almost lose every single one of my teeth? Your dad would've been pissed. Your dad been like, I did all this work for nothing. Second go for Steve-O coming right on through. You almost, you almost didn't make it too, dude. That was actually mad close. All right, let's get a quick hand plant on the eight with this scooter. I haven't done that on this scooter. And the scooter's bars, they feel like they're a little bit taller. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So let's get a quick hand plant. And if I can land this first try, Steve-O has to get a line on the scooter. Deal? Yo, that was legit. What do I have to do? Hey, your scooter sounds like me. Let's see Freddy Flat. Drop it and let's see what Steve's got on the eight foot quarter. Ooh, actually, it was a nice that air, dude. so good. That was a good air. Let me see a big boy air. I'm gonna get over there with the fish eye and right, right. You guys came here for this to be a part of the video and we will get to that here in just a second. All right. For those of you guys that have not been to the skate park, which is probably about 95% of you, this quarter is an eight foot tall quarter and it actually has a little bit of vert on it. So it's very difficult to air, but we're gonna see how high Steve-O can get right now. I'm calling like five feet, but he's coming right now. So we gotta turn around. Get it Steve-O, dropping in. Ooh, hoo -hoo, got the bar in there and the little, er, er, I saw it. Er, er. Yo, let me get a whip that high. Or a flurgatorium, one of the two, or a brigatory. T-Bog, that was, None of those, but I'll, I'll take it. I still like T-Bogs, but okay. Coming in on the hip, jumping the gap, dropping in, up on the corner, you hoo -hoo! Almost died. <laughs> Ow! How'd she feel? I know you ride a completely different scooter. One out of 10. I give it honestly a, like a nine. Nine? The only reason I give it a nine instead of a 10 is because the bars are a little too narrow for me, but. Yeah, I like saying, baby bars. If I would sum it up as a whole, scooter is probably a 10. All right, I'll take that. It's, That's it's good. Super fast, That's dude. it. He says it's super fast. These are like brand new wheels and they are 120s. The bigger the wheel, usually the faster it is. Obviously that depends on the urethane and things like that on the wheels, but I love these wheels. They're good, they're smooth, they last a long time and that's good for me. You didn't, hey, you didn't follow my scoop, just saying. Floating looks a lot like fun right now, so let's get Steve-O's back on Aaron the 8. Dropping in really quick. Oh, and the biggie coming up on the hip. Let's just get it quick. We're gonna get Steve-O's back on the overgrab. It's funny, because like when I jump right here just to do a bar spin, I'm literally the height of this kid's entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Noah right here, and Noah and I are gonna make a deal, and you can't turn it down because you have AirPods, and that means they're really cool, so. I am gonna do 270 downside triple first go. If I land it, you have to triple up the hip. Doesn't have to be downside, it can be either way you want. Bleh. All right? Okay. Deal? Yeah. And you have to you have to go until you land it. Okay. Okay, cool. If you land it first try, I'll do downside triple, come back and triple. Ooh, see what watch your legs before I chop them off. Dropping in, gotta get that 270 downside triple. I wanna see Noah do this. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna try to get that 270 triple. Okay. You're gonna do it anyway? Wait, right now? Even though I screwed up on my end of the bed, he's still gonna do it. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Dropping in for round two on the 270 downside triple. Hey, watch out. Oh, God. Oh, no, you're good. Never mind. Dang it. Come fly a bit. Four. 
I'm boofing it right now, bro. How about this? If I if I do two seven downs that triple and then whip front scoot on the eight, then you have to do it in a line. Okay. All right, deal. Ah, oh, my God, I suck. Woohoo! I'm not in that bad condition. Thank goodness. Far spin and break. Don't boof it, Ray. Fourth try. Come on, before five. Yes. Okay. Almost didn't land the whip front scoot though. You see that? I almost sucked. Noah coming in right now. He's got the shot. Come on, Noah. Woo! Okay, one more. Or three more, technically. My bad. Yes, Noah. I would give you a high five. My hands are really dirty. Okay, so you guys came here to see the cheapest Amazon scooter and see how it does here at the skate park. So this scooter, I, be I believe is like 30 or 40 bucks, but I know it was like the cheapest halfway decent scoot. All the other ones that were like $20 were like the three wheel ones or they were plastic. This is the cheapest scoot that I could find that is decent. So let's open this thing up really quick and we got a lot of tape. Funny enough, I don't even know like what this scooter is called. All I know is it's from Bravo Sports. Oh, here we go. It's colorful, I know that. That I remember. Yo, how is that not coming out? How is this not? The KR2 Performance Freestyle Scooter, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, urethane wheels, no need for that concrete stuff. Rugged construction, built-in foot brake, no need for a handbrake. Pfft, who needs those? I just cut the whole box. I didn't even cut the tape at all. <laughs> More tape? Are you serious? You put it inside of a massive box. Oh God. <sighs> okay, dude, this box is all bad. This box is not, not really good construction on the box, boys. The box might need a handbrake. Yo, look at those full cores, bro. Yo, check these out. These match your helmet. Oh, that's not good. This is freaking unrealistically tight. <laughs> Yo, that's surprising. All right, here's our bars. It's like a little rat bar. All right, we need that tool though. I don't think it gave it to us, so. Where did that come from? <laughs> like they send you this and don't even, oh, hang on, I was wrong. This is gonna be safe, right? Is this safe? safe. Is it safe? Yeah. We don't know yet. I think this one will definitely be flareable as long as we can make these bars spin. It's not good, boys. No bar spins will be done. Oh, we just need that top one to spin. Does anybody have like a really big um, crescent wrench or anything? Or right. oh. Pliers, like big pliers. Dang it, it's not good, it's not good at all, it's not good, oh god, oh I got it, yes, heck yeah. Bar spins four days, I'm gonna quad whip this BZ. The perks of working at a scooter shop for five years, you actually know how things work. Do you know how confused I was back in the day? Like, how the heck does this thing work? I just tightened the top one all the way and then the bottom one was just like kind of moving around. Like, my, my headset was literally like this all the time. Raven Warner, 2010. Look at that fork though, kind of halfway decent. And the wheels are plastic cores, they're not metal, but they're a full core. They should be okay. Ideally, of course, they would be okay, but we're, we're gonna find out. I'm really curious to see how that urethane goes, cause dang, it's soft. Yo, they got a speed button. Yeah, everybody quiet, here we go. All right, so let's slide these bars on really quick. I gotta press that button in, trying to cut my finger off. Yo, who needs a clamp, boys? Who need a clamp? That, we got a button. Didn't like that. Didn't like that noise. Okay, we're in. Where should we start? First trick. No, uh, what's our first trick? Bry? Bry 180? Yeah, 180. Okay, 180 Bry. We'll do it on the five. We'll start it off with that. Oh, really quick. I did want to say, as for presentation, I'm, I'm going to give this like a seven. Like, at, what, what? Let me rephrase that. Like, my, my confidence in it is probably like a seven because I think it's actually going to do pretty well. I don't think we're going to snap it too fast. Hopefully, hopefully, we don't snap it at all. But here we go. We'll start it off. 180 Bry with the cheapest Amazon scooter. 180 Bry. Oh. Oh my god, it's so freaking light though. Oh god. Oh. Front scoot? I knew you were gonna say that. Front scoot? Where should we do that? I'm scared already. We'll do it out of the other bank. A mini bank, this one? Okay. Front scoot out of this mini bank. I'm, so, I'm afraid it's gonna hit me in the shin. Oh my god, dude. Remember how I said the whole confidence thing? I'm confident in the deck. The wheels? Not so much, dude. They're moving. Now we understand that this scooter is not supposed to do like front scooter flips or any kind of scooter flip at all for that matter, but the wheels shouldn't come loose that fast. Do you see that? They're like ha la 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 ha la 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 Yes! Yes! That was the scariest front scooter flip I have ever done by far. We've we've done the bra, we've done the front scoot, there's two scooter flips. So no more scooter flips for me. But what about a flip? I, we we gotta flip. You guys know we gotta flip. Are we gonna do backy or are we gonna do flare first? Flare. Flare first. We've already done bra flip on the five, so we'll do the flare on the eight. Deal? Deal. Wheels, bro, not good. <laughs> oh my god, the freaking trick whip is gonna be harder than the flare. One thousand percent. Oh my god. 
Yes. Dude, you were so balled up on that floor. Balled up because I don't have a choice. I have to be balled up because this thing is tiny. It's like flaring a tech deck. So we've done triple whip, we've done front scoot, we've done flare, we've done bry. Now what? Flare bry, you shut up. Oh, we got grind. We got grind something. Invert it. You, invert. No, I've already done invert. You've already done invert? No, not on the scooter, but I've done too many of them. <laughs> That's going to be scary. <laughs> Yes. The tail are so hard. You know, I, I want to do another trick. It's kind of a weird one, but I'm really interested to see how the wheels take it, and it's Firecracker the 7. Yo, I'm afraid of the wheels, bro. Oh my god. Yo, so far, I'm, like, for, for 40 bucks, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's not doing too bad. And for 40 bucks, so far, it's very good. Or do we want to go to Steve-O right now? You're up, dude. You knew this was happening. Dude, I'm not done. <laughs> it is the size of your little brother's scooter. All right, I think I'm going to try a Bry Whip on the five. All right, deal. Like, air. Air? Okay. Yeah. Full sned. Oh my the, god. It's the whip, dude. The whip part is terrifying. All right, butter. First go, butter. No run up or anything? Oh, god, oh, oh, dude. Everybody here knows I hate kicklesses, so I'm not going to do it, but Steve-O is going to do a kicky on the hip, you said, right? Hip, we're doing hip? Dropping in 180 on the eight. This should be a first go one for Steve-O. Yeah, he's too good at those. Maybe you should ride a, a scooter like this, Devo. For, forget that other thing you got. <laughs> that is true, you already do. <laughs> yes, mate. We called out the backy. Had to get a backy in there. I want to get your back on flipping the hip. What the heck? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, he's going fakey. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, no. What you got? What's the next one? Handrail? No. <laughs> I thought about that one. I was like, okay, never mind. I want to kickless, kickless something, but. Do the fly out. Alright. No, just run. Just run right here, jump, and then land on your butt. Yeah, like that. Okay, all right. Do it. Full sned. <laughs> oh, dude, you didn't even land the eight. Oh. This is the eight. Oh, you wanted the eight? <laughs> yes! So no, like, jump like this, dude. This jumped a flat. <laughs> Dropping in right now, going for the kickers, kickers. One, two. Dude, that's freaking gnarly. It snapped? No, it's in perfect condition. What am I talking about? Yeah, it's, it's what are you talking about? It's, it's just really beautiful. hot. Isn't that, isn't that the new Envy AOSV5? Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Full snap, dropping in second go for kicky kicky. Oh! You actually freaking did it. Yes. This Dude. side is like pushed farther over. Is it? Let's yeah, see. Oh, rip the ant. Oh, that's not an ant. You guys probably can't see all that well, but the bearing on this side is like pushing out a little bit. You can probably see it a little bit compared to this side. So this side's like sinking in. But all in all so far, it's it's still doing okay. I think we still need to get a couple more clips really fast on this thing though. No, did you want to get something? I think you should hit the seventh there. Oh God, no, I can't. Yes, you can. You can. Can't. Can. 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 <laughs> I, I want to see. Oh no! How about something like a 360 something? 360 bar. Three bar? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, Stevo coming in with my scoot right now. Dude, Stevo's arrows on my scoot are so good. First go, three bar from Noah. Dude, what was that, dude? Come on, you can do better than that, bro. Get a Noah. Three bar coming right now from Noah Hansen. Oh my gosh. I mean, hey, are we counting that? Uh, I don't know, dude. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we'll give it to him. We gotta go? Can I get one more trick? Yes. One more trick. What am I doing, dude? What am I doing on the, on the Amazon scooter right now? The cheapest Amazon scooter we can get. Flip whip? Yeah, flip whip. Yeah. That'll be loads in there. I'll try, dude. I'll try. This one I'm not excited for whatsoever, but... Let me see it. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. If I die on this flip whip, you have to buy a GTR for me. Thanks. <laughs> I need to back up. Uh, Does Raymond have it? I, yeah. Oh, Dang oh it, dude. God. I almost did it first freaking try. so close. Ew. Oh. <laughs> yes. I freaking did double. From double. Yes, mate. All right, you guys. I, I like I said, for a forty dollars scooter, I'm like 170 pounds. Steve-O is not exactly a light kid or anything. 
No, on the other hand, no, it's pretty light. But <laughs> but all in all, I think this scooter actually did pretty well. So if you're looking for a scooter for your sister to ride and you want to get something that's halfway decent and it's cheap, this is not a bad scooter. So uh, like I said, Amazon scooter, well done. Although I do want to point out, if you guys are planning on getting a scooter that's like a pro scooter, something that's going to last you a very long time, go to your local scooter shop. They're going to be able to guide you in the correct direction, get you something that is actually legit for you, your size, what you're looking for, what kind of riding style you got. So go to your local scooter stores, support them, and they'll be there for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Raymond Warner. Make sure you guys subscribe if you don't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll be back next time. And until then, I'm out. Later.